In uh, this video, we will be learning about media strenal structures as they are visible on a chest X-ray. In uh, a normal chest X-ray, trachea should be central to start with. Deviation of trachea on one side indicates abnormality. Uh, trachea will be deviated towards the affected side in case of atelectasis. So this is trachea which is deviated towards the affected side. It will also be deviated towards the effect, affected uh, side in case of pneumonectomy and pleural fibrosis. Trachea will be deviated away from the affected side in case of tension pneumothorics, large pleural effusions as in this case. So this is a large pleural effusion and the trachea is deviated away from the affected side. So this is trachea. If you notice, the heart is also pushed towards the right hand side. Uh, uh, trachea will have similar push away from the affected side in case of hemothorax as well and as well as in case of large masses. The thing to be noted here is that just before bifurcation it is always pushed towards the right hand side to accommodate aortic arch which is visible here. So this aortic arch is visible just here and rest of the thoracic aorta is visible as a sharp line moving towards the midline to enter into the abdomen through diaphragm. So this is carina. Here, the trachea divides into right and left main bronchus. The right side is always a bit steeper and that is the reason foreign bodies usually go into right main bronchus rather than left main bronchus. The angle of carina should normally be less than 90 degrees on an erect view. If it is more than 90 degree, it means there is a mass there or something which is altering this angle. A zygos vein lies at right tracheobronchial angle which transports deoxygenated blood from the posterior wall of thorax and abdomen into superior vena cava which is visible here. So this is superior vena cava and the zygos vein drains uh, into this vein. In some cases, arch of azygos vein can be displaced laterally, creating a pleural septum separating an azygos lobe from the superior lobe of the right lung. This is aortopulmonary window, which will disappear in case of presence of any mass or enlarged lymph nodes. These are pulmonary arteries, so right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery. Uh, Remember that pulmonary artery, left pulmonary artery arches over the left main bronchus uh, and the highest point on uh, the right hilum is the right main bronchus versus on left side it is left pulmonary artery. So pulmonary artery, main pulmonary artery is this one. It divides into left main pul uh, left pulmonary artery and right pulmonary artery from behind, which takes deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to lungs. And both pulmonary arteries are visible here. So this is right pulmonary artery and left pulmonary artery here. The lecture is uh, prepared for www.academyofprofessionals.com and these are the references. Uh, thank you for the sketches from commons.wikimedia.org. Some of the x-rays are copied from this website and uh, some are copied from this website with kind permission from Dr. A.J. Chandrasekhar. Thank you very much. The rest of these structures will be discussed in next video. Thank you very much.